Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm excited to finally be doing my Black Friday haul. So I know it's been a while, it may even be January, hopefully it's still 2017. But I'm coming to you with my Black Friday haul. I think I have a mega haul this year, like the biggest haul ever maybe. So we'll see, but you know, let's just get right into it because there are a lot of products to show you. So I'm talking about brands that I have tried before, but I'm definitely always picking up something new in the brand to give a shot. So it's new and old plus some restocks. So let's go. So I'm gonna start with Sultanicals. Like I have so much stuff. Oh my god, like please, like you know, I always want to tell her, like spare me, like save me, like feel sorry for me. I don't have a sale. But I have lots of stuff, but I had to get something. One, because I wanted to support her, and two, because she's always coming out with something new. So I saw this wash and comb detangling foam, and I had to get it, because it's supposed to be a cleanser, and a detangler, and a foam. So that was like too much excitement for me, I had to get it. So it is a cleanser, it's not a co-wash. I mean, she doesn't say co-wash, she says cleanser, so I would treat it as a cleanser and maybe deep condition after. But when I try it, I'll see exactly what happens. But it does have decal glucoside, which is a pretty strong I wouldn't say strong like stripping but it's a it's a pretty powerful surfactant so this is not this is a shampoo basically but it does have like agave nectar rasul clay beet sugar guar gum iris moss a bunch of good stuff as well so I'll be really curious to see if this could be my HG shampoo new new HG shampoo right now Baskin Bloom's um, shampoo is sitting pretty there could this be the one to knock it over, knock it off? I mean, it'll still be HD, but could this be the one to make it number two? We'll definitely see. And I don't have any cleanser from Sultanical, so I'd love to have a cleanser in her line, and this could be it too, we'll see. I'm super excited to try this. The tangling foam, shampoo, yeah. So, the foam is probably just regular shampoo bubbles, I'm guessing anyway, so. I shouldn't get excited about the foam, but we'll see about the slip, so. I, I, the other, like the Baskin Bloom shampoo was moisturizing, had great slip, it was just perfect, so we'll see if this can get anywhere near to that. But I do like the ingredients, so I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> so I bought that, but she probably saw my huge Instagram stash and decided to give me this cute little sample to try. So I'm definitely going to try this as well and then let you guys know, give you guys a review. So this is a healthy hair drink and I think it's just a leave-in basically. Because it just says um, apply a moderate amount to damp or dry hair and leave in. So I'm definitely going to use it as a leave in. Of course, for a brand, most of the ingredients are good, so I don't even have to really worry about that. These are the ingredients. Everything looks good in terms of nothing that I wouldn't use, no chemicals and stuff that I don't use. So yay for that. I know almond milk would be great for the hair, so it's almost like rice water, but not. I mean, in terms of like having some bit of protein and stuff. So. That's good for people who don't have nut allergies, I guess. Panthenol is a humectant, so that's good. I'm looking forward to trying this, and I'll definitely let you guys know if it's awesome or what my review is. So thank you, Aya, for this cute little treat. Thank you, thank you. So you saw me do a review on the Curls and Potions before, and I liked the curling jelly, but I wanted to try it again, and the curling potion was too strong for me. Like, it gave me a cast, which I don't like usually. I know some people don't like cast, but that's not really my thing. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna try it again. And then the owner was really nice and she commented on my um, <laughs> video and she said, well, try it in the tonic and stuff. So I decided to give it another try and then get some more stuff from her. So I got the nut tonic, <laughs> which she said to try as the leave-in. Because in that video, I think I used the Sultanical Slip and Slide Le Nut Proof Hair Glide, which is of course super moisturizing anyway. But she told me to try her leave-in, so I'm getting that to try. And then I'm also getting this Sweet Elixir Fixer Deep Conditioner to try. So I'll be able to kind of give it a whole wash day. So I'm going to deep condition with this, use this leave-in, and then use the curling jelly. So I did buy another curling jelly as well to try, because I really liked how that one felt on my hair. So she also has some Chebe, like deep conditioners and glosses and stuff, so that was interesting. So I think I was going to try the Chebe, but I think she just was out of stock at the time. But you know that thing's been going around the Facebook group of these like African women and super long hair from using Chebe. So she has some of that stuff, so if you guys are interested in that, you might want to run over and check it out. For me, I'm going to wait until like her next sale and based on how, well, no, 
I'm being good, I forgot. I'm going to wait until next Black Friday to hopefully pick up some of that Chebe stuff. But it's definitely on my, ooh, I'm curious about that list. So these are the ingredients for the nut tonic. So it does say it can be used as a co-wash as well. And I'm usually a little bit kind of wary of these three-in-one businesses. Like when they want to be a co-wash and a rinse out and a leave and a gel and a whatever. But um, I'm going to give it a try as a leave-in and just see what I think of it as a leave-in. Aloe vera juice, peppermint, leaf, grapefruit, yucca. Those really are kind of good for scalp. The fatty alcohols and stuff is stuff I wouldn't put on my scalp per se. So it kind of looks right down the line between a co-wash and a leave-in. So I guess I'm definitely going to try this as a leave-in first. If it doesn't wow me as a leave-in, I might try this as a co-wash and let you know. So look out for that. I wonder if I could try it as a co-wash and a leave-in. You see all these kind of heights? Like they make these things. I like things to be what they are. Like at least either you're a cleanser or you're a moisturizer. Like I don't... You know, I mean, I like co washes too, but the whole a co wash that could be a leave in that 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 kind of heights, I really don't know about that. But it might make for interesting TV, right? If I use it as a co wash and then use it again as a leave in, rinse it, put it back. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. So, there's definitely another Curls and Potions video coming up, and this will definitely be in it. This not tonic. Detangling, moisturizing, leave-in that is also kind of a co-wash, a cleanser. And at least this is simple, it's just a deep conditioner. These are the ingredients. Shea butter, aloe vera juice, you know me and the shea butter. Give them a little side eye, but I really don't think it was necessarily the shea butter with that other experience, so. But um, anywho, it has the honey and aloe vera juice and I'm willing to give it a shot. It has cocoa powder which I like and which kind of just makes it interesting. Red palm oil which is good for hair. And of course the curling jelly which you guys saw the full review, the full video on. But it does have the creamed honey, it is moisturizing as well as defining. It has some cellulose gum for definition and hold. I'm thinking I want to wait until spring so I can really just live that big hair life. But we'll see. So Bask and Bloom. I told you guys I love her shampoo and DC and when I say I love something you will see me repurchasing it. So I got like three of these deep conditioners so you know how much I loved it and as I was saying that I would have gotten more shampoo but I don't use shampoo that much so the shampoo that I have will last me through the year otherwise I'd have gotten more because that's also my H3. But she has my H3 shampoo and deep conditioner right now and the deep conditioner is the Brahmi Root Hair Mask. And you have to take a look at my review, my demo, because I was just in love, love, love with both. Yeah, these are the ingredients for that. Love, 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 and happy to just restock on this. Caraveda is another one that I like. Caraveda Pure HD High Definition Gel. Soft, moisturized, defined hair. Like, does everything I want a gel to do, basically. So. These are the ingredients and I do want to do a demo like I have used it before on my channel but I think without naming it so I do want to do a demo with this and the leave-in spray I have the leave-in spray as well from a previous purchase not from Black Friday but basically they had a good sale I like the product so I just bought it Jane Carter similar thing I just restocked on this. Of course, you guys know I love it. I did like my thumbnail with unicorns and rainbows because that was how I felt. This made me feel unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> the Jane Carter Coiling Oil Curls Elongating Gel. And I also could have gotten more of the Untangled Me Leave-In. You know I love that as well. I have a video coming up actually of using just the Untangled Me Leave-In for my just one product wash and go with just the Untangled Me Leave-In. So. That's how much I love it. But I think I have more of that than this, so I decided to get a lot of this. These are the ingredients. So this one, my hair was just super defined, super moisturized, elongated, just perfect, and I just loved it. This will definitely be on my buy list when I see it on sale. And of course, she has good sales. And then there's Blue Rose Beauty. <laughs> I got this marshmallow cream gel, which is a restock, but I do like. So I wanted to do a video with using this, so I decided to get another one. These are the ingredients. And my hair was just really moisturized and defined and clumped when I used this last time, but it was a long time ago, so it's time for me to use it again. 
because things that I used like two years ago, my hair was a little bit different then. So definitely want to try it again and see if it still does the same, if it makes me just as happy and stuff. So that's coming up and that's why I got this. And this is kind of my restock of the pile. Then I have this pumpkin puree leave-in conditioner. So I got a pumpkin moisturizer from her and I really loved it. And it was like a leave-in for me. So I was just curious about where she would go with the leave-in. So her products are really light, so which is probably why the moisturizer was great as a leave-in for me. But I mean, it really defined my curls and stuff, which moisturizers don't always do. So I was super happy with that. So I was like, mm, okay, I want to give the leave-in a try. So these are the ingredients. And one good or bad thing is that her pumpkin scents actually smell like pumpkin. So if you like a real pumpkin, not really like pumpkin spice or pumpkin derived, but if you like the real true pumpkin scent, then you will love her scent. Almost want to open it, but I'm not opening it because it's Black Friday. If you guys want to see open stuff, watch my stash videos. This is just the whole video. But that's how the last one smelled like pumpkin. So I wasn't a super fan of the scent, but I did love how it works in my hair. So I was curious to try it, so that's why I got this one. And of course the um, red palm oil and stuff is supposed to be really good for your hair and pumpkin seed oil. It says for thin shedding hair and scalp ailments. So I mean my hair ain't thin or shedding, but it's good for your hair, so I want to give it a whirl as well. So the next one I got from her is this almond milk gel. So I haven't tried it yet. Her gels tend to be on the lighter side, so warning to those of you who want to try it. Most likely it's definitely going to be like on the lighter side so you may not get that much definition if your hair is like on the kinky side you may not get that much definition. It also has like beta in high up which is a little bit like hmm. So which means it might be even lighter. But I did want to give it a try. This one I probably will leave until the summer or something and give it a try. I'm not expecting like super defined, I'm expecting big hair. Next is the Blue Rose Soap Berry Co-Wash. The ingredients just look really good. It has a lot of natural surfactants, so it looks like it'll be cleansing but not stripping, so it's talking my language. Like the soap nut is a natural surfactant. I know some people also say amla is a cleanser. The yucca root is a natural surfactant as well. I don't see any sulfates or kind of derived surfactants, so I expect it to actually cleanse and I expect it to not strip my hair. And there's some moisturizing ingredients, so I expect it to moisturize. So I really have high hopes for this co-wash and we'll see soon. My staple co-wash right now is the She Scented Blueberry Co-wash. We'll see if this comes for that or not. Of course, my HG co-wash is the Camille Rose Caramel Co-wash, so we'll also see if this comes for that. And last but not least, definitely not least, we have She Scented. Of course, I did my restock, so you know how I feel about the... Rich Moisture Mask, you know that, because you see in the videos, so you know I love this. I don't know, I don't know if it's that supporter extract and that rose extract super high up, but this is just super hydrating and I love it. So, definitely have to restock on this. And we were just talking about the Blueberry Co-Wash, so definitely have to restock on this as well. These are the ingredients to the Co-Wash. And this one varies a bit batch by batch in terms of some are more cleansing and some are more moisturizing so i'm not you're never sure which batch you get until you open it but i like both so whether it's more cleansing then yeah it's getting my scalp clean and everything or if it's more moisturizing yeah it's popping my curls more but it has a yucca which i just mentioned is a good surfactant and then it has like a lot of moisturizing ingredients and then there's this cocoa summer leave-in so i love the cocoa cream leave-in this is supposed to be just like that with a different scent so i decided what the hair i'm just gonna get it the cocoa cream leave-in is light but moisturizing so i expect similar for this with a fun new scent i guess i just wanted to try it okay so that was my restock, some she sent it, but I also have some new stuff to try, so I'm always looking out for her new stuff to see what I can try. I don't use polyquats and I don't use like synthetic gelling ingredients, so that rules out some of her stuff, but I saw she had a new pomegranate pear line and I had to try a bit. I did like the papaya rinse oil conditioner, so I was like, okay, pomegranate and pear, let me see what I can try. So I got this restorative hair mask and I got this quenching conditioner which I most likely will use as a leave-in, possibly to kind of condition my hair. So I'll either use it like that when I, if I have some emergency wash day, or I'm going to use it as a leave-in, or both. And because this is more than one use, which is good. A nice super size something as well. And this I'm going to try when I need a little bit of protein, I guess. 
I want to be more deliberate about using protein a little bit more consistently or consciously as opposed to just using stuff and doing an occasional protein treatment. I want to kind of be like, okay, I'm going to use protein every other week or just a couple times a month or whatever. So I'm looking for things with protein. So this will definitely find its place if it's good, which I'm pretty sure it is because which she says the conditioner isn't. None. These are the ingredients. As you can see, it has like a little bit of hydrolyzed wheat protein, which is like the good stuff for repair, as well as the aloe vera juice and the pear extract and sea kelp and everything. So I'm looking forward to giving this a whirl and I'll let you guys know. I did try um, a Sultanicals repair mask recently that I loved, so I'll definitely be getting that one again. But I'm going to try this and see how I feel about this one as well. And then maybe whichever one is the better one or in both or what, I don't know, product life product heaven product nirvana we'll be over there <laughs> this is the pomegranate pear quenching conditioner these are the ingredients it's pretty similar to the repair mask i think if you're looking for a little protein boost of course the okra reconstructor is still great always great but these are some other protein options within the she sent it because i don't think the rich moisture has protein the rich moisture has hydrolyzed silk protein which is a moisturizing protein not a strengthening protein so that's it. That was my Black Friday haul. I can't wait to use every single thing here. I really can't. Life is good. This is how you feel just after shopping. You get to feel like it again when you do haul videos or when you watch haul videos, I guess. So yay, shopping. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you're interested in trying. And let me know which one you want to see first in terms of reviews. So yeah. And let me know if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.